Well, we are on the sixth day of June here so far, and it has been hot up to this point. Today, looks like Grand Rapids' first day of the month of June not getting to the 80 degree mark, and it's also going to be our first overnight low in the 40s here tonight since before Memorial Day. So this is a statewide map of our month-to-day temperature anomaly. Very cold uh, down near the Rockies and into Texas, and very hot here in the Midwest region. Grand Rapids and Kalamazoo both averaging over 8 degrees above thus far through the first five days of June and even today hitting 79 degrees for an afternoon high thus far. It's not official yet. We're still above average, even though it's the coldest day of the week. It's starting to cool down though this evening. 73 in Grand Rapids, 80 again in Kalamazoo, 75 in Holland. Some 60s are already mixing in. This cloud deck has really lowered in some areas and allowed for some cooler air to kind of settle in here for the afternoon hours. Winds are light, but starting to pick up a little bit compared to where they were this morning, about 10 to 15 miles per hour. That's what's keeping the red flag warning in effect for Nuego and Oceana counties until 9 p.m. here this evening. So burn ban still in effect for a lot of West Michigan, uh, regardless of this red flag warning. But we do anticipate that a red flag warning may get issued tomorrow here as our winds are going to pick up a little bit more through the afternoon on Wednesday, gusting out of the north northwest at about 10 to 15 miles per hour gust maybe to 20 on Thursday. We, we may see that again as well, but it's more so going to be a lakeshore uh, windy event with gusts upwards of 25 to 30 miles per hour. Downtown Grand Rapids right now still dealing with the hazy sunshine, mostly cloudy skies right now, as well as in Muskegon. But this is the last of the cloud deck and things are going to start to improve here as we go through the evening. A few areas may even be able to catch a decent sunset. You can see that clearing in northern lower Michigan and into the thumb. Those are moving to the south and southeast here slowly but surely. We did have a few showers in Berrien County, but that's clearing out as well. Temperatures tonight, like I mentioned, coldest in over nine nights, 47 in Grand Rapids, 47 in Fremont, looking at about 50 degrees down near Benton Harbor. Here's the clouds on future track by about eight o'clock. We're starting to see mostly clear skies. So again, a good chunk of us should be able to see some decent sunshine. Going into Wednesday, plenty of clear skies to start. We'll see a few of those pop up cumulus clouds as it's just going to be a perfect day for us, but it's going to be the day with the lowest relative humidity. So again, worst day for any elevated fire risk. Thursday, more of the same, a few afternoon pop up clouds, but it looks like it'll be a sunnier day than Wednesday. Look at the temperatures though, steady in the mid to upper 70s. And then we turn the corner briefly in the 80s on Saturday. Rain chances just continue to fill in here to West Michigan. Looks like this system could be pretty consistent with uh, multiple days of rain. Now that's a lot better than just getting a lot of rain at once because it means we're going to allow for a little more consistency for the roots to really establish for any of that really dry grass. Notice the rain as we go into Sunday just continues to build in, maybe even engulfing the entire state. We are looking at uh, accumulations, maybe upwards of a half to three quarters of an inch over the four day stretch.